welcome back to Pokemon Radical Red. Uh, we are on episode three, uh, which um, I was looking back at my original playthrough of Radical Red and I was like, damn, by episode two, I'd already beat Misty. <laughs> So I guess I'm just taking my time a little bit more these days. I don't know. But yeah, of course, if you guys are enjoying, don't forget to leave a like on the video. It is really, really, really appreciated. Uh, you guys are, seem to be chill with me using just cheat codes or whatever. Well, they're, they're literally built in cheat codes into the game. So it's, they don't really give you an advantage, I guess, in terms of like, I guess, game difficulty. It just makes the game a bit easier to play. Uh, because like, like for example, me and Lotad in the original game, I don't know if you can do it in this game. I feel like you can. We just grinded against Meowth, stealing nuggets from them for money whereas having this cheat code allows me to just sell these rare candies which means i will have a lot of money uh which i wasn't actually gonna do but there, i don't think there's any reason to like inconvenience myself considering i have actually already played radical red before like it, this isn't my first time playing so i'm not really missing out on any crazy experience besides afk or well not afk uh <laughs> off-screen money grinding it's just it's whatever man uh so uh, i decided to sell uh a bunch of rare candies there just a hundred because there's the guy that uh he's selling a magic for 75k and i'm betting it's gonna be a shiny Magikarp. Maybe it'll be a perfect IV shiny Magikarp. I don't know, but we're gonna go take a look right now. Thank you. What a score. Thanks for business, you idiot. Watch it just be like a regular ass Magikarp though. Oh, it's gonna be in the PC, huh? All right, let's check this out. Oh, oh, it is shiny. Let's go. Does it at least have perfect IVs? Okay, it doesn't have perfect IVs, but it has pretty good IVs. You know what? Honestly, that's not even like that bad because like I'm pretty sure you can, I don't know how much they cost in the, uh, I mean, where, where even is it that you buy them? Like the, the Pokemon, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I'm gonna swap this Meowth out. Oh yeah, let me get my let me get my Kalava back. That's my star. The game corner, yeah, the game corner. I think you can buy like shiny Pokemon for like 100k or something. Like it's yeah. Wait, that was shiny. You're kidding. Can I have it back, please? That's so funny. He thought it was defective. All right. Anyways, I guess we're gonna go through Rock Tunnel today because uh, that's I mean that's all we can really do is just press forward. I mean Mount Moon, not Rock Tunnel. My bad. Honestly, Mount Moon sounds like it would be like the name of an area later on in the game, and Rock Tunnel sounds like like Rock Tunnel. That just sounds like like one of the starting areas doesn't it i feel i don't know if i'm the only one that ever got those names mixed up mount moon rock tunnel because mount moon just it just sounds fancier so like why it's the same with uh <laughs> i don't know about you guys but pidgey pidgeotto pidgeot i always felt that pidgeot should have been the middle one because pidgeotto was the longer name so the final evolution should have the longer name you know so pidgey pidgeot pidgeotto i don't know i mean obviously knowing the evolution line it doesn't sound right but when i was younger i thought oh the pidgeot should be the middle one i remember watching pokemon chronicles too and like they pronounced pidgeot as pidget and then that just i was like oh wow it's, it's a pokemon chronicles said it was pidget so wow it's actually not pronounced pidgeot it's pronounced pidget but obviously now that we're older we know that the pokemon anime mispronounces stuff all the time kyogre grudon i think is what they say when there's so many moving parts like that you know when it comes to like a huge company like pokemon there's bound to be mistakes Ooh, sleep powder actually a really solid move um i mean I, I flash actually does something in this game moonlight i could see me yeah, you know what it's actually a really tough choice <laughs> well we'll drop flash because i mean it's not stab so that's that's pretty much my reasoning and plus i'm pretty sure we'll get a I don't know if we'll get Flash TM later, but maybe. This Zubat Sprite is so cute. It's like barely changed, but it's changed enough. And it's, I really enjoy seeing all these like custom sprites for this game. So let's have a look. What do we have? Uh, okay. Okay. You can rock roughs here. Okay. There's nothing here that I'm like eager to use. I haven't used a Conkleter in a while though. Conkleter could be kind of cool. Oh, we got a little uh, Dynamax down. Let's have a look. We have Swine Up. Okay. Pilo, I mean, Mama Swine is a really good Pokemon. We can catch one just to to have as a treat it's crazy that they managed to like put dynamax like battles inside of a gba game like it's man technology has come so far i remember when pokemon snakewood was like the cream of the crop when it came to pokemon rom hacks or pokemon glazed i've actually heard that pokemon glazed uh has actually like improved a lot uh i think and i, I don't know i have been meaning to recheck it out because i don't know just it was one of the first rom hacks i actually made a series on I th actually the first video on my channel series of videos was Pokemon Blaze Black 2. They're gone now um, because I just cringed. But I mean, like a ROM hack that's like actually but like an original story and stuff like that. Pokemon, Gl I think I played Snakewood. Then I like played, I think I played Light Platinum a little bit, but then I got really bored of it because Light Platinum sucks. But yeah, Pokemon Glazed. I do remember playing that all the way through and really enjoying it. So might be, might be something worth checking out at some point. There's different Pokemon down here. Ooh, Riolu. Okay. The Shuppets. Oh, I actually, to like look 
because apparently they gave Don Fan technician in this game. So sturdy and technician, really cool. I didn't actually know. I don't even remember what Don Fan's regular ability is actually. I know he, I just know he gets sturdy and that's like usually what you want. Ah, usually he gets sand veil. So yes, yeah, uh, technician's actually way better. Uh, I don't know, if, I think sturdy might be more useful, but technician Don Fan could be really fun because of ice shard. I'm trying to think if he gets other moves that can be abused by technician. Bulldoze could be good because it would make bulldoze like what base 90 now, which is actually actually it's basically like an earthquake that drops speed but like just a little bit weaker i think you'll mainly be wanting to run it for bulldoze and ice shard honestly Ooh, bone meringue wait would you get 75 base power bone meringues that could actually go crazy too i'm looking at clay doll clay doll gained 10 base special attack that's pretty much the only change i can see to clay doll what about macargo macargo now has the ability simple uh okay that could actually go hard that that like a simple macargo could actually kind of go hard parasect gained actually a pretty significant buff parasect gained 20 more hp 15 more attack and 20 more defense into his base stats that's actually really significant i mean he still probably blows ass but like at least he's like not as bad anymore torkoal's ability has changed from drought to shell armor yeah so it's okay it lowered its attack and made its special attack a bit higher. Okay. Made Torkoal a little bit less of a potential mixed attacker or a physical attacker. Made it more of a special attacker and made Drought its hidden ability because Torkoal. I mean, weathers, like weather abilities are just crazy good. Hmm. If I didn't have Kalava, I would probably use Makargo. But I just remembered my star Pokemon is Kalava. I think this is definitely worth like looking at all the Pokemon that live here and looking at the changes that they have. The only changes I can see to the Lycan Rocks is that they've changed changed keen eye to frisk uh which is fair crobat now has corrosion it went from having two abilities being inner focus and infiltrator to now having three abilities being infiltrator sniper and corrosion so it doesn't have inner focus anymore and its special attack went up 20 points that's a pretty significant buff to crobat that's the, that's a really significant buff it's it's a lot stronger on the special side now uh, i got sniper and corrosion it can be a sniper set they gave uh algola malola they gave it rockhead and they made the ability to on Golem Alola Magnet Pool instead of Sturdy. So this thing doesn't get Sturdy anymore, the Alolan form of Golem. It just, it gets Rockhead, Magnet Pool, and Galvanize. Rockhead's pretty cool. Oh god, what did he do to the Conk? They didn't do it in the Conkholder. Yeah, Conkholder's still pretty samey. I kind of want to try and use like Pokemon that they have changed. So uh, I might, I might not use Conk. Conk is fun though. He, he's just such a, he just slapping his ult vest on him and you just drain punch. Subat has gained some buffs into HP and defense, but that's kind of it. Throw has technician now uh and gain some physical and special ball you know what throw with technician that actually sounds awesome i mean we have dawn fan though so i'm not sure if i would really you know it's just it's kind of just uh, the same z but you know but yeham gained some hp that's that's kind of it okay clef is unchanged and yeah i think we went over everything um hariyama is unchanged oh we haven't went over dreadnought you do anything to dreadnought no nah, they didn't do anything to dreadnought okay oh wait dreadnought has a mega evolution doesn't it because they they take the gmax designs and made the megas so so you could have Mega Dreadnought, which would actually be kind of cool. It becomes a water fighting type. I don't have a water type otherwise. So um, yeah, sure. Let's pick up Dreadnought. I don't know how long it'll be before I can get the Mega Stone. But uh, I like Dreadnought anyway. Let's find ourselves a Dreadnought. Where the hell is the... Oh, it's back here. Let's just kill a few of them till we get some cool stuff. Hey, a three star one with Bite and Strong Jaw. Let's do it. I, I pressed R because I thought it was the... Pokeball button, I want to die, dude. Oh, that sounds like shell armor, but it'll have to do. We can always uh, change its ability later. Oh yeah, we can access the PC from here too. I forgot about that. All right, let's add, uh, let's add this guy to the team. Uh, the only problem is I don't know who to swap out. God damn it. I'll swap out uh, you for now because you don't really do anything until you until you get a, a teapot, I guess. And then uh, I'll put the shiny Magikarp to the side because we might use it at some point. Wait, hold on, Team Rocket. Yo, they have their own team. This sounds really dramatic for a Team Rocket run, though, I will say. Dun, 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 dun. This is, yeah, this is really dramatic. It's just a Team Rocket run, man. Why is it so serious? All right, this part of the cave have different Pokemon. We've got Mawile, of course. I do love Mawile, but I don't imagine much has changed. I've used Mawile plenty, so we'll, uh, I think we'll pass up on Mawile. Nothing changed about Mega Mawile, nothing changed about Base Mawile. They changed Mudsdale's ability from Own Tempo to Striker, and then they changed its hidden ability from Inner Focus to Tangling Hair. So this Pokemon Pokemon just has three crazy abilities. Well, Tangling Hail Hair isn't that crazy, but Striker. The Pokemon's kick-based attacks have their power multiplied by 1.3. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think this is ever 
better than stamina i feel like stamina mudsdale is just like stamina on mudsdale it's like and that's an exclusive even in radical red mudsdale is exclusively got stamina i, I don't think there's any i mean if you want to have fun sure i guess but i think stamina is always the way to go with mudsdale even even after getting this new fancy striker ability which they made up hitmonlee blaziken and mudsdale and serena and decidui hisui all have a striker we can definitely get a different mod with striker do they give camera up simple uh they don't but they give it solid uh they change its hp from 70 to 90 okay solid rock is usually what it has and yeah, they give its its hp is 90 now that's a that's a decent buff i suppose oh and its mega evolution has higher defenses and more hp and lowers its attack and okay so like they're they're kind of just taking away the possibility of having physical attacking pokemon and making them exclusively special and vice versa i'm not the biggest fan of of when they do that but i do get it oh they made onyx stronger they give onyx base 60 attack hp is now base 50 his special def his defense goes down to 150 instead of 160 and his speed goes down to 65 instead of 70 okay that's interesting i think onyx being base 70 speed was kind of cool i don't i'm sure how i feel about his speed being dropped but i guess it doesn't matter because when it evolves into steelix nothing changes steelix just gets heat proof as a mega evolution instead of a uh, sand force which is actually pretty cool heat proof steelix that's actually really cool from a lore perspective jinx uh, changes oblivious to dry skin which is weird because dry skin's its hidden ability so do they just swap it so oblivious is the hidden ability now because on the website it says dry skin it says abilities dry skin forewarn dry skin <laughs> so uh, i don't know uh it gets a little bit more defense it's 50 base defense instead of 35 and its speed goes up to 100 so jinx got a little bit of a buff surely they buffed soul rock right yeah soul rock has 105 attack now instead of 95 and its speed goes up to 90 that's actually pretty good soul rock is a lot more usable now do i even bother looking at bisharp yeah they haven't changed bisharp at all i mean it's gonna evolve into bloody king gambit though so like <laughs> They haven't changed Rampardos at all. Cool. I think that's everything. Excadrill also remained unchanged, but he doesn't really need to be changed. I really do like uh, these ROM hacks, taking a look at some Pokemon and trying to find like, you know, solutions to make them like usable. Like they, they try to make Love Disk usable in this game for crying out loud. Love Disk has the ability Soul Heart. It gains the Fairy type and its special attack goes from 40 to 100. They gave it 60 base stats in its special attack just so it can actually do damage. And it has Soul heart which is just if a pokemon faints around you you get a special attack boost it's mcgurna's signature ability and even still love this is still kind of ass but i mean at least it's usable seam rocket theme's kind of cool though i won't lie all right we've got a tm over here low sweep underrated move in my opinion yo i found these fossils they're both mine no i don't think they are i'm gonna take one you can't stop me he's got thwacky and a voltorb oh hasui and voltorb hey man really glad to see in hasui and forms making a full uh a full entrance oh hasui and voltorb can take advantage of the grassy terrain too because he's a grass type that's cool all right let's fake out the thwacky and uh oh i don't have any pp hold on let me swap out i'm going to alert smacked him up voltorb's gonna hit him power hit him power ice i don't know super effective either way didn't really do much i'm just gonna double into thwacky thwacky needs to go we got the lucky burn with uh with an ember all right it's time to start burning this or well yeah burning this voltorb bro you need to learn to use a different move i'll set you on fire teach you a lesson damn that almost oakwood it i held a focus sash yeah i guess hisui and voltorb doesn't have the best defensive so we can just voltorb in general voltorb hisui form they changed aftermath to reckless and regular voltorb they gave it galvanize instead of aftermath okay that's interesting we'll just drain punch this bit barrel and we're gonna set this voltorb on fire actually i probably should have quick attacked it just to make sure it was dead so yeah interesting they gave regular electrode 55 base attack and 100 base special attack and obviously the ability galvanize for hisuian electrode they gave it 95 base special attack and 55 base attack so for some reason hisuian electrode just has five less stats overall than regular electrode regular electrode is just a little bit stronger like their, their base that total is different that's weird i wonder i mean it's maybe it's just because it has grass stab i don't know whatever we should be fine oh no he's burning god damn it this battle just became annoying i'm gonna oh okay he's, dude, dude, dude why are you so serious man why are you protecting relax on me dude oh yeah there's like an important battle after this isn't there i'm razor leafing i did absolutely zero man double kick that's doing zero too I was just getting preoccupied by all the cool changes this game has to offer. The barrel's gonna take alert out, okay? Uh, all right, Ludwig, you need to make your debut, bro. Bro, of course. The quick attack, too, that's dirty. Rock throw. Did... I don't think his HP bar moved. 
I don't, I don't, can I get a replay on that? I don't think his HP bar moved. I'm in disbelief right now. All right, you need to go to sleep, Babarrel. You're acting crazy. Rock throw. His HP bar barely moved. His Babarrel avoided it. Okay. Dude, what the hell is this Babarrel smoking? Effect spore. Okay, well, now I can't put it to sleep, but I mean, I guess it's paralyzed. All right, Sableye is just over there burning things and protecting itself in the corner. Hopefully, Chad can come through and win this for us. I did not expect this battle to be so hard. And of course, I get burned. Yay. Woo, let's go. The barrel's paralyzed. I sleep because I have nothing else to use. Rock blast. Dude. Did this barrel set up and I've not been paying attention? I mean, either way, it's dead now, but like, god damn, bro. All right, now hopefully we can just slowly beat the Sableye. Oh, it's got recover. Okay, dude. We're gonna be here for a while, huh? Oh my god, Chad came through. I was literally about to die to burn, but Chad came through with the five hit crit. Let's go. Dude, that was stupid. All right, we'll take Kabuto. I like Kabuto's more. I probably should have like actually checked to see like if there was any significant changes. Kabuto now has Blade Master. They removed its second ability of battle armor. Uh, okay. And then uh, hidden ability instead of being weak armor is now Swift Swim. So its main ability is Blade Master. The Pokemon's blade based attacks have the power multiplied by 1.2 and get a plus one critical hit ratio. That's actually really cool. I think we made the right choice. I've not even looked at Omastar yet. I think we made the right choice. Omastar, nothing. <laughs> no, Omastar didn't change at all. Okay. Yeah, we made the right choice. We have a battle here, don't we? Now, thankfully, I do actually have the Poke Vial, which I forgot about. All right. I think we have a battle against Archie. Yep. Hey, you, wait right there. Oh God, okay. Are you the twerp messing with my grunts? Little kid, you think you're brave, eh? I'll teach you a valuable lesson. He's got his, his dog following him at least. He's got that dog with him. Impidim. For some reason I remember this being a double battle. All right, I'm gonna fake out. Why not? It doesn't hurt. All it did was hurt him. It didn't hurt me. All right, I'm just gonna raise a leaf. And will we avoid the thunder wave? Nice. Slash that idiot down. Nice Yana. He's gonna drop my attack, right? No, he doesn't have Intim. Oh, uh, he must have Moxie then. Uh, actually, let's see what Mighty Yana runs in this game. I'm actually really, I'm like a lot more interested. He's, he could have Strongjaw. I think Strongjaw is what he actually has. I think Strongjaw at this point in the game is really, really, yeah. It's, I think we just die here. Okay. Hanging on. Uh, thankfully, we were faster, so we can just get a nice big drain punch off here. Uh, I think we just died to the next one, though, but that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It's really... I'm, I'm really intrigued about, like... Oh, wow, we lived. He didn't use Poison Fang for some reason. Maybe he thought I was switching. My Tiana's attack also goes up from base 90 to 95, and I get Strong Jaw instead of Quick Feet. I'm really interested in all the changes that Radical Red do, so I'm, like... I'm probably going to be looking up, like... Since there's this, like, Pokedex that I can just look through online, it's uh, dex.radicalred.net if anyone's curious. Houndour. Has any changes been made to Houndour? Houndour, Houndoom, Mega Houndoom. Mega Houndoom has Dark Aura instead of... Wait, me... wait, you can have secondary abilities on Megas? Wait, huh? I did not know that this was a thing. I thought Megas just had one ability because it's like, that's all they can use. But Mega Houndoom has Dark Aura and Solar Power. Its attack is now 110 instead of 90. Oh, I guess they, they, they buffed that boy. Dark Aura is your Veltal's ability. Don't worry, your suffering will soon be over. I think if you have Spider Mighty Anna, we should be able to speed up yep yo did bonk choy just do the sweep let's go that's my boy let's go what a shameful blunder you know what i like the uh i like the chess terminology whatever we're done uh, we've done everything we needed i won't be as nice to you next time i'll be seeing you cal why do you know my name that's kind of weird bro and after 45 minutes of recording i'm finally out of mount moon i really am taking my time these days huh uh oh okay oh what did I do? Oh, it's a care package. All right, okay. Is this the care? Oh, wow, wow. 10 wide lines? What? 100 brothers. Wow, okay, thanks. What did I do? Huh? Bro just dropped a gifty on me and just left. Do you guys still do the, the regular mega punch? Oh, no, power punch. Okay. And then you give me a macho brace. Wow, let's go. That's actually dope. Thank you. We've got a sunstone. We're just getting all the items right now. Roar. Oh, we got a thing here. What's this? We got a simi sage or pan sage. Sage, I forget the name. I think it's Pan Sage. Uh, let's just kill it for sport. Oh, we can actually go back too. Okay, so we're not just stuck here. Awesome. Uh, let's see the Dex Nav. Anything funny and quirky and new here? Oh yeah, I remember Pumpkaboo. I remember using Pumpkaboo actually. They changed uh, Gorgeist. They gave it uh, Flare Boost instead of Insomnia. And they... Oh, okay. There's different sizes of Gorgeist. For every single one though, they raised the special attack of Gorgeist and lowered its attack. So they basically swapped it and made it a special attacker instead of a physical attacker uh, i guess just to make use of flare boost which is really cool i won't lie gorgeist driflim and zeb striker all have flare boost 
one pheasant got a 15 base into speed so it's now 108 base speed and it has frisk instead of big packs frisk is a weird one because if you're playing blind then frisk is good but if you have the documents then i feel like frisk is a worthless ability you know because like we don't need to know the opponent's ability unless frisk has changed no i don't think so i think yeah it just tells you what the item is yeah frisk doesn't seem the best in this game i mean i don't use the documents personally but like just from like a, a hardcore gamer standpoint victory bell has gained some defenses okay oh god what do they do to luxray Luxray is a electric dark type. That seems to be the bulk of what they did. Uh, I learned Sucker Punch. I don't know if it's always learned Sucker Punch, but it learned Sucker Punch now. I'm tempted to use a dark electric Luxray since everyone's been screaming and screaming for it. I'm like, you know what? Maybe we just use it. See if it's actually like worth all the hype, you know? Pachirisu gains some bulk. It has Prankster now instead of Runaway. Oh my God, wait, Prankster Pachirisu? Oh my God, wait, Yoga's gonna make a comeback. I'm sorry, Luxray, Yoga might have to make a comeback. Perugly has 100 base hp it has 79 defense and its special defense is 74 it gained significant buffs to its bulk and it's still as fast as ever low bunny is now a normal fighting type not even like it doesn't have to be mega it's just a normal fighting type usually and uh the mega didn't gain any changes either okay so it's just a normal fighting type now floor just now has natural cure which is actually good because its other abilities i'm pretty sure are like just double battle abilities flower veil and symbiosis so having natural cure is definitely very very good yan mega and yanma don't seem to have changed surprised they didn't make it a dragon type corviknight doesn't seem to have changed at all uh corva squire they gave it frisk but eh whatever same as rookie okay uh i'm gonna get myself a pachirisu then uh i think i think uh we'll do pachirisu and we'll get shanks too but first i need to go get some repels because i forgot the dex nav uh kind of relies on repels to be useful oh yeah i've got infinite money as well so it doesn't even matter Ooh, swagger pluck snarl i mean i may as well just buy them huh like i'm we can afford it i caught a slugma earlier and it was holding a red shard wait yeah red shard okay I thought you said a red, red card. So let's change the nature of our tutel. I actually haven't had a look at it yet. Uh, we'll just do adamant for now. I think um, another one we could do is like impish or careful, but we'll do adamant for now. Uh, do you have a, do you happen to have a snom carnivine? Oh, has Carnivine changed at all in this game? I imagine it has. I feel like they have a soft spot for Carvedine, right? Yeah, Carvedine, Car Carnivine, sorry. Gained quite a lot of HP, gained some decent defenses. Its special attack is swapped. Well, no, actually, wait. Oh no, its special attack has been dropped all the way down to 55 and it gains some special defense. They're focusing on Carnivine's defenses and lowering its special attack, so it's more of like a physical attacker. Too much time, too little to do. Is there nothing entertaining happening anywhere? That's a mood though. Pokemon Move Maniac. Oh, okay. If you defeat me in a puzzle battle, I'll provide you my services for free. Oh, let's do it. Oh, let's do it, baby. I would love a puzzle battle. Uh, okay, let's check out the rules. You select three, they select six. I assure you that among these choices, a guaranteed path to victory. Order I send my Pokemon out will stay consistent and I will not manually switch all right let's see okay all right um is this what are, what are we looking at here focus ash sand veil gale wings we've got gale wings one now with life orb interesting for some reason this thing doesn't have perfect attack though that's, i mean hp that's definitely on purpose this thing has guts but it's brave so it speeds dropped this thing is also hmm i should probably see what my opponent's team is first wait huh oh wow this one's definitely okay hold on so a jolly rockhead Aaron, bro i okay this thing only has ice punch okay part of me feels like gale wings is necessary because gale wings kills scroopy timber and larvesta so i need to find out how to kill these three uh i don't know i think i think the best bet is to just just try i'm gonna just bring these three and see how we go this is really cool though i like this friendly pokemon maniac he leads Aaron, of course i'll lead fampy uh we'll just go for an earthquake and then we can ice shard it because it's got the sash i think i don't know there's the sash south rocks okay that's okay that okay i think i see what's going on here uh, there's no way to avoid the stealth rocks i'm pretty sure i don't think any pokemon i have has a multi-hit move so i don't think there's any way of avoiding the stealth rocks but i think i, I think i see what's happening i'm pretty sure fampy can take and i, I yep, we can take this freezy frost uh which i think is like yeah we'll take that with the sash hit the earthquake nice bye bye does gas to come in now yeah all right so we're just gonna ice shard this because i think we die afterwards regardless i don't, I don't know if ghastly okay shadow ball unfortunately we're gonna take some rocks damage uh yeah see i was just gonna come in and brave bird oh well, because i've rock okay because i forgot it's the it's the gen 8 gale wings huh or whatever so maybe gale wings isn't the answer unfortunately because uh, my plan was just brave bird everything and then heal with healing wish but 
now. Oh, wait, hold on. Lead Baniri, an essential partner to it in this fight, is Fletchling. Oh, wow. Okay, so I was actually spot on, kind of. Wait, does Baniri have a multi hit move? It doesn't. Hmm. Oh, fake out. Yeah, duh. Okay. Yeah, we got it. All right, fake out. Get rid of that sash. Go for the drain punch. Get rid of the Aaron. If Pikachu comes in, I think I'll just use return here. Volt tackle. Okay. Maybe that's when we switch into Fampy. I figured it was just going to use with a freezy move, but maybe that's when we go into Fampy. All right. I'll use Earthquake here. Yeah. I don't think we win here, but that's fine. I learned. I have Gale Wings. I'll Brave Bird. Brave Bird. This thing dies. Brave Bird. No, he's faster. Okay. Drain punch this. I will switch into Fampy. I will use Earthquake. Uh, I'll go into Baneri, but then I can't do anything. Um, uh, I think I guess Fletchling works because, yeah, Ghost move. Yeah, I probably should have went into Fletchling right away. Oh, uh, okay. He went for Giga Drain. I, huh? Uh, okay. Okay. He was a Sludge Bomb now. I, I don't know, dude. Is it just random? Do I have to go with the RNG? Like, I, I'm i pretty sure I have the right order. I get, it's like no other Pokemon's going to take a Volt Switch, a Volt, a Volt Tackle. So, like, maybe I just let Fampy go, I guess. I shard it. Brave Bird this. Brave Bird this. This thing's Scarf and ice punches take out maybe i just use return okay last pokemon's are vesta i think i'll just return flame bodies me okay it's fine whatever oh he's got a rocky helmet um but I, uh, maybe i should have flamed okay rocky helmet okay all right all right we're living let's go i don't know if that was the most optimal way to do it but i did it let's go nice now i've got the move to her let's go you can evaluate pokemon's happiness ah okay Thanks, I guess. I don't need it right now, though. All right, I'm going to go myself a patch of Isu because I said I would. Oh, shit. Chad's evolving. I'm going to miss you, Chad. You were very, very cute. I wonder if Baldor has a custom sprite, too. I hope so. We are rocking with Baldor. He does. Oh, my God. Wow. They really did right by this mon. Baldor looks sick. Learning Stomping Tantrum. Get rid of Magnitude. This is why they call you Bonk Choi. You're going to have yourself some knockoff, my man. So we need a Link Cable item to evolve Gigalith. Oh, you evolved level 23? That's kind of a weird number, to be honest. But sure, let's do it. Oh, wait, I was at level 22 actually but i already caught it at level 22 so yeah that makes sense and here's dreadnought i'm a big fan of this sprite very very well done sprite you're learning rock tomb better than rock throw oh you have a level 24 as well we're kind of getting like a huge glow up right now i don't know if i mentioned this already either but shenotic has a small buff it has 75 base hp now instead of 60 i can never unsee igly buff being the bottom half of its body though oh a three star prankster let's do it and we have ourselves a new team member baby let's go now the question becomes which pokemon do i swap out because uh okay we've got an upcoming battle with misty uh like i said i'm gonna be rotating pokemon quite frequently because i like using multiple pokemon i don't like just being limited so i will swap out chad for now because we are about to face misty and chad isn't really going to be super useful with misty but i still consider chad uh one of the main team members uh honestly we're probably gonna have to use chad with like other pokemon that can make use of sandstorm because it is a sand streaming uh, gig uh gigalith uh, well, when it becomes one. Uh, but we'll put it in the PC for now. And I'm going to call that episode there. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I've been really enjoying taking my time playing this game. Hope you guys are enjoying it too. Uh, next time, we will probably take on Misty. Uh, and see how uh, see if that's gotten any harder since I first played it. Because I remember, I, I don't think I found it too difficult. Um, but yeah, between now and then, might do a little bit of uh, yeah, prankster, baby. Let's go. Unfortunately, it's uh, it's perfect stats are in all the wrong places, I would argue. But yeah, between now and then, I'm going to, I don't know, the, probably do nothing. <laughs> oh, we got the movie learner here too. Just, that's crazy. This game is crazy, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your day.